I think it's 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 in its current incarnation what it's allowing people to do is is the types of analytics and computations that were not possible before and you know by removing some of the constraints uh, that are placed by a, f a physical data warehouse and the ETL kind of architecture that we have today in traditional uh, you know, mm -hmm. data warehousing. Um, you know, it's enabling um, customers to do a lot more with the data that they have and, and do much more predictive type of analytics, more actionable type of analytics than was possible before uh, its advent. But I think the real game changer is going to come from um, when HANA goes into its, its next form or what is the future state that they're envisioning where it essentially replaces uh, the need for both an operational database as well as a data warehouse and everything happens in memory. That truly is, 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 a, is a very, you know, it's a game changing um, in, in terms of uh, in both in terms of compute performance and in, and then the types of things that, that are possible, um, uh, but also in terms of how uh, these kind of enterprise solutions get architected in the future.